<laughs> so are we all ready? Um, I work for Alain Pinel. Alain Pinel was founded in 1990 by three men. And uh, it's, strangely enough, the one that was named Alain Pinel thought that the idea of the brokerage would never work. So he has to be bought out. And he today, now, he went back to France. I mean, so the current owner, Paul Hume, is, uh, I guess, the last surviving original member. And he and his family run the brokerage. And it's the largest um, family-owned, we'll call it, brokerage in the Bay Area. And basically, um, you know, Alain Pinel is part of a, it's a boutique brokerage that's part of a nationwide and maybe an, considered even an international-wide consortium of boutique-type brokerages called Leading Edge Real Estate Companies of the World. And it allows us to have a network of over uh, 700 uh, premier real estate firms with 170 agents in, I think it's 32 or 33, 38 well, countries around the world. And what this allows you know, me personally to do is it allows, if I were to refer somebody out of my area, which is San Francisco, it allows me to drop a client into the top part of a brokerage as opposed to going through the front door and just taking any agent that happened to be available. And how this works, I had a friend of mine that, that was up by Davis, California, and he needed to sell his family ranch. And so use, I was able to refer him to a realtor up there that was, she was president of the local board. She's a lifelong resident of the area. Her father knew the, my client's father. In fact, she had a, a casual acquaintance with my client. She not only knew the ranch land that was being sold, but she also knew the kind of dirt that yeah. they were going to be selling, what it's good for, how the drainage on that type of property worked. Mm -hmm. And so we're able to, you know, provide a much higher level of client service by uh, accessing agents of this type. I had another agent that I was able to refer a client to when I had people move from Long Island out here. And the agent had that we were able to refer them to had sold the, the houses on each side of his home and uh, was well known in the neighborhood. We were able to close escrow on that property in 30 days. So, you know, and it really, it provides us with, uh, you know, it's an extremely nimble company and who recognized fairly early that um, everything's going to the internet. So we, I guess that's pretty, I guess you'd consider that uh, not unusual knowing that the company began in Silicon Valley. But the, their corporate vision from the beginning kind of emphasized technology. So they felt that they were very early, you know, um, what you call it, user of the web by, they, they launched their company website in 1993, and they also had the philosophy of, early philosophy of putting a computer in every agent's desk. And they provide quite a bit of training in this area for us. I mean, some of this stuff, um, you know, might not seem too significant, but we get, you know, webinars and social media marketing, and there's, um, like I'm on their internet response team, there was additional training required to be part of that. And um, if, if we, you know, when we get a listing, there's, we do, we use agent uh, websites that are developed, we can access free agent websites that they provide for us. I personally don't use that, I have my own, but, um, any property that we list has a property specific website and the syndication on these websites is fairly broad. So within 48 hours of taking a listing, I can put a property on, well, that conservatively it's 80, but actually I think it's more like 100 websites. And these types of websites also provide us, you know, um, a certain amount of information to be able to determine how our marketing is going. And so the client's question is, well, is, is any of this stuff that I'm actually going to end up paying for working toward getting my house sold? And we can show them pretty dramatically, you know, through numerics, you know, how we might want to adjust uh, the marketing or how we know that it's getting, um, you know, a, a certain amount of throughput to our audience. And San Francisco being a destination city, this is fairly important because we do get a lot, through leading edge real estate companies of the world, you know, we do get a lot of um, people coming in from China, Canada, and Europe to buy properties here. So often these are first and second homes or even investment properties. And so, you know, our 
um, fairly, I guess, what would you call it, intensive investment in the Internet, you know, pays off here. And so we end up um, being able to, we have property listings in 44 states, 21 countries, and our luxury portfolio website is translated into nine languages and annually viewed by 1.2 million visitors a year from over 200 countries. Mm -hmm. So our reach is fairly strong, and that, we feel, it gives us, I guess, a distinct market advantage. The, one of the, once I began to work there, I found out that they also have a commitment to excellence to the types of agents that they not only recruit, but once they get their hands on you, you know, they also encourage you, uh, you know, if you're going to participate with the brokerage in some of the, their marketing efforts, you have to receive additional training as well. So you get additional training, you know, over and above your real estate license when you join the brokerage. Like, for instance, I had to take additional training to be part of their internet marketing team. I had to get additional training to handle relocation clients. And those are people that move from other parts of the country to San Francisco. I recently had to become, in order to handle short sales, to be involved in short sales at all. And that's where the owner of the home is asking the bank to take a short payoff on the loan in order to sell the property, I had to become actually certified as a distressed property specialist. And um, I, have to, I also had to receive additional training from the company. And these, um, they also require us to receive additional training every year in, in really the legal aspects. And we go to school for a couple hours, a couple times a year to learn uh, where the lawsuits are happening, really. And like, for instance, the big hot topic in San Francisco right now is parking. I mean, people are warranted that they can get a, a parking space, or you'll buy a, and down in... Um, I tried to sue a... Point, she, point, she case in point. Those, your space is one of the... There was case a two-year two waiting list. Case in point. I sold the property. Okay. Well, I mean, so in other words, so we get briefings on this, and it's very helpful in, as your, in your development as a you know, professional <coughs> builder. So, I guess to, perhaps to encapsulate slightly, Alain Pinot's mission is to give their clients properties exposure to as large a amount of people as possible. Basically, so we know that this house is selling at market, we're trying to get them the highest possible price, we're trying to provide the best possible service at the, at the, best, at the most reasonable value, we'll call it. We may not always be the cheapest. And the, our consortium approach allows us to associate clients with the uh, best and most powerful brokerages across the country. As a basis of that, we're the ninth largest real estate company in the United States. Specifically why I'm there is because I, um, you know, I used to work for Pacific Union, and the president of the Pacific Union was Tom, was a great blow up on his name, right? Tim Murray. And Tim Murray uh, went to Alon Pinnell to introduce this brokerage um, branding to San Francisco. And so I heard he was over at this little office in the marina, and the Pacific Union, the office that I was part of, had fallen apart slightly, and I went over there, and this, he's probably the best manager in San Francisco. We have time? Yes. Have okay, time. thank you. Yeah. Thank you.